Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today I'm going to be talking about NVIDIA's new CMP mining cards and my thoughts on them in the mining side of cryptocurrency, what I think is going to happen with them, and if I think that they are going to be a good product. So before we get into the video, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm doing daily videos talking about all things cryptocurrencies, different things, what's working, what isn't working, and just how to make money with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency online. So let's get into the video today. So it's no secret that over the past few months, uh, Ethereum and Bitcoin and all the other cryptocurrencies have gone up in value like crazy. And what that means is for mining, it has become a lot more profitable to mine Ethereum. Now, Ethereum is one of the most profitable coins, or, well, it is the most profitable coin at the time of recording, which is February 27th, 2021, uh, to mine on GPUs. Right now, if you were to, say, have six RX 580s, you would be earning $14.26 a day before power, about $11 after about a 16 cent kilowatt uh, price per, per kilowatt. So $14 a day off of a card that was released, I believe, either in 2016 or 2017. That is crazy. So what that means is things like 3080s, 3070, and 3060 Ti's. If we were to look at what a 3060 Ti makes single-handedly is $4.05 after that same 16 cent power. So let's say we had six of those, just out of curiosity, you can see you'd be making about $24 a day, which is almost double what you were making with the, um, the 580s for relatively roughly the same price. Now, when I say roughly the same price, that is if you got them at MSRP, um, which if you are new to mining or new to computers, uh, you're definitely not surprised to know that the 30 series of GPUs is completely sold out everywhere and is being scalped on eBay. Um, right now, if you were to go out and buy a 3060 Ti, you're probably looking at a multi-thousand dollar um, investment here. So if we go 3060 Ti on eBay, you can see, switching it to buy now because you don't want to mess around with the auctions and all that, eleven hundred dollars thirteen hundred dollars it's it's ridiculous and they msrp'd for right around i believe 350 to 400 dollars for the 3060 ti so nvidia just released on the 25th the 3060 and right before they released it about a day or two in ahead uh in advance of that nvidia made an announcement that they were going to have software on the cards uh, controlled through the drivers that would effectively have the hash rate of a 3060 if it detected that it was being used to mine. Now you might be thinking, what the heck? Why is NVIDIA, you know, making it so these cards are less valuable to people who are buying them? What it, What's in it for NVIDIA? Because in, in their eyes, who cares who's buying it? As long as they're getting the price that they want for it, it shouldn't matter that a miner is buying it or a gamer is buying it. Well, that's where the new CMP HX line of cards come up. Um, they announced these the same day that they announced that they were going to have the hash rate of the Ethereum mining. So that's definitely um, good timing, I would say. But looking at it here, the 30 HX is the base card in this lineup. Uh, it has a rated power of 125 watts and it has six gigs of memory. So they pr predict that it's going to get about 26 mega hashes. So if we pop over to the what to mine again here and we enter in 26 mega hashes with, I believe I said it was a 125 watt, 125. So we then calculate that you can see that that, oops, still loading, but uh, we can see that that is going to get about $1.57, again, I'm using 16 cents per kilowatt, after power. So $1.57, just roughly, let's try and compare it to a uh, 4 gigabyte 570, just for comparison. Uh, it's 
not quite that low, but uh, maybe it's in between a 570 and a 580 because I know a 580 should be making about $2-ish a day. Yep, close to $2. So it's actually about a 580. Um, now, they did not release the, the prices of these cards, but instead of doing the comparisons for each of them, we'll go up to the 90HX, which is probably in comparison to what the 3090 or what they're claiming the hash rate will be is actually closer to a 3080, a little bit lower than a 3080. So 86 mega hashes here. Let's put that in, 86 and we are going to be using 320 watts. So 320 at 80 mega hashes, calculate. You can see here that you're earning about $5.06 a day after power. Now again, that's not terrible, but from what, if, if I was going to go out and buy these for mining, the prices for these have got to be pretty low. Because looking at, if you were to buy a 3080 at MSRP for about $800, you'd be getting a, a pretty good return here, looking at what a 3080 gets, is about $6.31. So if you were to get that at MSRP, this is already better than the 90HX. Now, at the time, these cards are not released, so we only have what NVIDIA has put out, which is this little chart here. And they're the ones that put the rated power, they're the ones that put the mega hashes and all of that. My guess is once miners who kind of know what they're doing with mining get their hands on these cards, there will be undervolts and there will be overclocks. And we'll probably see a little bit higher mega hashes and we'll hopefully see less power. Because where it currently stands, these cards would have to be priced very, very competitively and I would say the 30 or uh, the 90HX would have to be cheaper at MSRP than the 3080 if this is as, if this is the max that it can get at this power. So it's hard to say we're just using this to kind of speculate, but my ultimate thoughts on it right now is that these cards are not going to sell very well. Uh, it's not very appealing in the specifications and the key features here, it, it's meant for mining. And what that means is it's going to have almost no resale value. These, as I see it, these should almost be considered ASIC machines. Whereas if you go out and buy a Bitmain, say you bought an S9, as soon as that S9 does not make a profit, you're going to unplug it and it's going to become a paperweight. You might hold on to it until Bitcoin goes up again or the difficulty goes down. But ultimately, it is dead weight. You're not going to run it unless you're willing to take a gamble that eventually the currents, the crypto that it mines will go up in value. And once these go, you know, kind of into the red, they're not making money. People are either going to dump them on eBay for dirt cheap, you know, real, real cheap things, just similar to like the P106 cards that happened back in 2017, or they're going to find their final destination in a landfill and it's going to create an incredible amount of e-waste, which is definitely not what we want to see. It's not something that's good for the environment, and I would like to think that it's not what the cryptocurrency community was built around causing or even having as a side effect. Um, so it really sucks. I think NVIDIA made some questionable decisions, and at the beginning of the video, I said kind of, what's in it for them? Why do they care who's buying it? Well, I'm guessing that these cards aren't going to be cheap. They might be priced competitively right around what like the 30 series cards are priced at, but now they have two different lines of cards for each market. So they might be able to sell more of the 30 series GeForce cards to gamers, and they're hoping that miners will turn around and buy all of these CMP cards. Will that happen? We'll have to wait and see when the CMP cards get launched, what the initial numbers are, and how many people actually move over to them. At this time, I don't plan on buying any of them because, like I said here, the numbers, they don't look promising. And the fact that they don't have any resale value is kind of scary because, in my opinion, investing in the computer hardware to mine cryptocurrency is way safer than investing in cryptocurrency itself. Because if you invest, you know, $5,000 in mining hardware, or $5,000 in Bitcoin, 
if cryptocurrency somehow completely disappeared, went to zero dollars, nothing was valuable anymore, if you put that $5,000 in Bitcoin, you're out of luck. If you put it in hardware, you'll at least be able to sell that hardware and recoup some of your investment. Now, you still might end up at a loss, but it's a significantly less loss than everything. And that's my opinion. I do have cryptocurrency and I do mine cryptocurrency. That's my thoughts on why this isn't going to be very successful and why it's not very appealing in my personal view. So I hope you guys found this kind of informational and interesting. I'll be really interested to see how the NVIDIA CMP cards turn out. And if I do have the opportunity to get one and they are cheap enough and, you know, make sense once we know prices and realistic numbers, I don't have a problem getting a few to test out, but we'll have to wait and see. So again, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss anything about cryptocurrency, any of our update videos. And if you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't leave a dislike, let me know why you didn't like it down in the comments below. And in the description is a link to my Discord if you're interested in checking that out. It's a great place to learn about all things cryptocurrency. So please like, share, and subscribe to my Bitcoin Tips YouTube channel to learn more about spending, collecting, earning, and investing different types of cryptocurrencies. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.